All right, I am starting to run the video, hoping I catch some spirit activity before I do the actual video. I'm getting ready to burn some Palo Santo. Palo Santo is very much like sage, and it helps neutralize any negative energy that may be around you. However, it is not the sage, it is not the Palo Santo, it is your intent that I ask that the energy be only of the light, beings that are positive, high vibrational beings. <clears throat> And there is one already. Wow. Did you see that swoop around there? There it is. Hello, spirit. Can you come in? Oh, look at that. They're dropping down from the bells. I think they like Palo Santo better than they like Sage. There goes another one up off my shoulder. Wow, spirit. I thank you. Honestly, I thank you. Um, I am going to go ahead and burn a little more sage, or excuse me, Palo Santo here, only because I need to clear the energy for the cards and the flashlight. Now, you don't need the flame, obviously. All you need is the smoke if you're uh, planning on clearing any negative energy. And I ask that spirit simply clear any negative energy away from the flashlight, neutralize it, only allow beings of the light to come in and use that light. I will also neutralize the cards, simply fan them out in your hand, run them over your smoke to neutralize. We'll get a little bit more going here. I'm going to slide you guys back a little bit there. See if I can get a little bigger shot. <clears throat> All right. Blow it out again. And I ask that you bless, cleanse, and neutralize the cards. And above all, I ask that you bless, cleanse, and neutralize the healer. Heal the healer here. Thank you. Come on in. Welcome, welcome. I am getting ready to do a reading today for um, God only knows what reason. With the spirit orb activity, the way it's been, it I just get so sidetracked. Um <clears throat> If you saw a couple of the videos I put, posted already earlier this week, um, activity all over the place. There we go. I'm setting up the paranormal flashlight. Let's see if I have it up there correctly. Spirit, if you are in the room, and can I ask you to take control of that light right away? Thank you, Spirit. All right, those of you new to the channel, that light may come on or off throughout the video. Either way, just spirit validating they're in the conversation and that, you know, they kind of are going along with what's being said. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we can come up with today. What are we going to? I'm just going to go ahead and talk and I'm going to allow the cards. Some of you have asked about the full moon that's coming up at the end of the month. I believe the 24th or the 25th. And uh, moon water. Moon water is simply putting a jug of water out under the moonlight and allowing that energy of the moon to, um, I guess, chemi it doesn't chemically alter the, the water, but it kind of charges the water with some kind of positive aspects. I've never had a big success with the the moon water. I don't really feel the difference. I do, however put a crystal in my water pitcher. And now it's got to be a good quartz crystal. You just can't put anything in there. Uh, if you buy cheap crystals, you might find it may dissolve. Um, may not be nearly as crystal as you thought. But I do put a crystal down in my water. And that I allow that to charge. Now, with the full moon coming up, and you know, we're talking about, here's the high priestess card, and we are talking about things metaphysical, and spiritual. This is you guys using your own intuitions to kind of work with your crystals and use them and charge them the, the way you would like. Now, the best way to charge them is in this full moon. Uh, put them in the moonlight. If you're 
Now, I have a very extensive crystal collection. I can't possibly get them out all out on my porch or my deck. And some of them are expensive. Uh, don't want to lose them. You know, don't want... Uh, there are creatures that will come along and steal some of your crystals. Crows do it. Um, sometimes you have uh, actual pack rats or squirrels that will come and, and take those shiny crystals. So I'm not real comfortable with putting those out that way. <clears throat> but I put them in the uh, right here in the studio in the window. I pull the curtains back and allow the moonlight to come in and charge recharge those crystals in the moonlight. All right. Let's see what else is going on here. We had that High Priestess card come up, and we also have the Six of Cups. My lighting sucks today. Hang on a minute. Let me pause you. All right, hopefully that's a little better. Whoa, 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 that's not the right one either. <laughs> always always a, a work in progress, I'm telling you. That's the other way. Let's see, do I want to go this way? No, that's not the one either. Uh, you know what? I'm going with it. I'm going to let, Spirit is telling me, just let it go. Okay. So we've got the Six of Cups. Now that Six of Cups is about, actually I get the feeling it's about a couple of different generations coming together. Somebody helping somebody else out. Somebody young, somebody new, unknowledgeable perhaps. And I feel like you are the one who steps up and says, here, let me help. Let me show you. Um, do it in a kind way. You know, some of us out of this older generation will just kind of go, what's the matter with you? How come you don't know? Well, don't do that. Just ask them, say, can I show you a different way? Try and use your language in a better, kinder, easier, gentler way. And that's what that card is all about. Love coming forward. Helping somebody else out. If you do that, if you look after somebody else, if you help care for somebody else and transmit that love to them, the Wheel of Fortune. You can't get good unless you give it. It's the Law of Attraction. Whatever you resonate is what you get. So if you wake up sour and grouchy, bitch and complain all day long, it's not my fault. Um, I didn't get this. Uh, they didn't send it to me in time. I didn't get my check. Um, you know, um, I, I, I just can't do that because, um, you know, I don't have a good thing. Don't be negative about it, anything. In order for you to gain the abundance that comes with this Wheel of Fortune, is to be positive, to have a good outlook. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, he kind of comes charging in here real quick. I actually think that card goes with that High Priestess. <clears throat> Some of you are going to be stepping into your gifts, your psychic powers. Uh, you wouldn't be watching me if you weren't interested in this. And we all have it. And the more I teach you, the more you pick up, the more intuitive you will get. It's kind of like being in the gym. The more you use it, the, the, the more the, the, your strength grows. Keep using it. <clears throat> We also have the Ten of Pentacles that comes up. That Ten is saying, it, it goes with that Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune and that Knight card again. I'm going to go back to that Knight card. That's the Sword of Truth he's swinging there. The Sword of Truth. Do the right thing. Do the kind thing. Do the loving thing. You will get that abundance. That Ten of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. Now, that knight is saying that you could step into 
your intuitive energy very quickly. Like all of a sudden you're going to go, oh, I get it. I see it. I feel it. All right. I have grabbed another deck. Let's see if we can get some validating energies. Nothing else going on. I saw a few um, spirit orbs when I was burning the Palo Santo. However, let me adjust that light. Let's see if I have it right. Nope, maybe not. I don't have it adjusted correctly, Spirit. You did turn it off. Okay. All right, there it is. We'll do that again. <clears throat> All right. If you feel so inclined, Spirit, can I thank you? <laughs> can I get you to give me a wink or blink? All right, I know I have it adjusted for them. All right, let's go ahead and go on here and see what the other deck has to say. Too many. That was operator error. They did not jump out. All right. Now, while I'm doing this, can I get you to drop down, hit that like and subscribe buttons, and please, anytime you get an opportunity, please throw a comment down below. It helps YouTube put me in the algorithms when you guys kind of make an exchange and comments with me. And I do, do absolutely appreciate every one of you. All right. And can I get one more spirit? <clears throat> All right, we have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is saying that there's going to be some energetic change happening around you. And the Cups always indicate something to do with emotion or love. Um, I think just a kinder, general or a gentler human being is who you're becoming. I think we all, uh, uh, anybody on my channel is. You hear me always talk about don't be a Karen, don't be, don't be a dick. Um, I think we are all becoming kind, kinder, gentler people. We also had the Nine of Swords come up. And that Nine is, is absolutely about <clears throat> some of the worry, some of the fear that you have. Some of you are carrying anxiety because you are becoming intuitive. You're getting a little more anxiety. You don't know that it's your intuition, that you are feeling what's going on around you. You could be feeling, get off the news. You could get anxiety just from the energy off the news. Get away from that. Don't, yeah, don't bother checking out the news. Um, that anxiety that you're feeling isn't really anxiety. It is your gut. That's where it starts, right down in the stomach. The very first place you will feel it is in the stomach. But that nine is about saying that, look, there's no need to get up in your head about it. Take control of it. Talk, talk to your anxiety. So look, I'm in control. Get the hell out. I am in control. And when you say it with force, don't just say I'm in control. That won't do you a damn bit of good. Shout it if you have to. I'm in control. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. <clears throat> we have the judgment card. Now that is... I, I get some of you have been highly judgmental of others in the past, but now I think you pass that judgment on yourself. Because you're going through a metamorphosis and you're changing and you're becoming more evolved, you're becoming more conscious and awake. That's what awake means. It doesn't mean all that other bullshit over there at the news channels. That's not what awake is. When you become awake and conscious to your own thoughts, the fact that there are other energetic levels and realms, the whole higher consciousness thing. That is absolutely what I'm talking about. Um, so don't be judgmental of yourself. Why didn't I know this sooner? Well, because the timing wasn't right. Why didn't they show it to me sooner? Because the timing wasn't right. And we have the three of cups. Last but not least, it is okay to get out and celebrate a little bit. The weather's breaking. Your attitude is picking up. St. Patrick's Day's coming. Go go guzzle some green beer. Um, I will be out 
guzzling some green beer on St. Patrick's Day. So if some of you would like to catch up with me, um, I may post, I will post over on you or excuse me, Facebook where I'm going to be for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to be out having fun, enjoying some music, and I'm going to welcome you guys to come, come hang out. All right, there you have it. Not a lot of spirit activity, not a lot of light activity, but a little bit of a reading to help you keep your week going. There you have it, you guys. You know, I never leave you that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.